Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I'm going to walk you through a little something I ran into at a customer site. Uh, the customer in question was asking me about more efficient ways of copying data back and forth. And at the time he was using good old xcopy in some batch files and had heard about a command called robocopy. And robocopy is a command that you have with Microsoft Windows, uh, I believe it's in Vista. I know for sure it's in Windows 7 and basically it's a more efficient way, it's supposed to be a more efficient way of copying stuff. So I told him, I said, well, there's an easy way to find out. Let's try it. So here I've got on my left side, I've got my drive, and on my, sorry, my left side is my drive, and on the right side is my server. O is the drive it's mapped to, and I'm going to copy stuff from there to here, and see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is come on over here and delete the stuff, and bye-bye, there it goes. And it's about, um, it's, uh, it says 33 meg. So we're copying a good variety of files back and forth. Some are text, some are PowerPoint, some are trace files, a good mixture of stuff. Second thing I asked the customer to do is to automate this as much as possible so you don't get skewed results. And that means creating a batch file. So I want to show you a little bit about the batch file that I did write. It uh, may look like a lot at the beginning, but it's not. It's pretty straightforward. So in this batch file, the first thing is uh, CLS, clear screen. Echo on, just so I can see the commands. The next thing is prompt dollar sign $t, dollar sign $g, and that is T for time, G for greater than, the greater than symbol. And that's going to change my prompt to the time. And that way, when I see the time, it's going to show me the time before and after a copy, so I don't have to use a stopwatch or anything ridiculous like that. Next thing, echo, is just a command to say, put this on a screen, and I just want the text test1 to be thrown up on the screen. But in this case, I'm going to redirect it that's what the greater than sign does, into this text file. So this text file is going to be created as we go along. Right? After that, RD is going to remove all the stuff from the server, just to make sure it's not there. MD makes the directory, because that previous command is going to wipe out even this folder name. And then from there, I'm going to just shoot the time out to this text file. And if you notice, I've got a double greater than versus a single greater than. Single greater than will create the file, and a double greater than will append to that file. And then my robocopy command, dumping everything into there. Neat thing robocopy has is this slash mir option. All that does for you is basically mirror whatever's in one folder into the other. It's kind of neat. After that I'm going to shoot the timeout into that same text file and then I do this ping. I ping my loopback IP address. Why do I do that? Just to buy four seconds uh, in between tests because sometimes uh, things don't get updated properly, and I want a little bit of a delay. So this is a poor man's way of putting a four-second delay. If you want more than four seconds, then just do a dash N with your ping, and five is five seconds, and so on and so on. Okay. So I took this, copy, okay, and then I paste it four more times, leaving me with five tests in total. Then I take the same stuff, and same thing's going to happen again with the exception of X copy, all right. So and I'm going to do an X copy, and again it's going to be written to a file. So at the end of all of this, I'm going to have two files created. One is X copy results dot text, and the other is robocopy results dot text. All right, and that's it. So I go to the command prompt, run my command, and if I just kind of go, um, I'm not going to run it yet because if I run it, I'm going to wipe out the files I already created. So um, if I was to run it, I just type test copy dot bat here and off goes the test. And here's my results. So I've got robocopy results dot text. And you can see here's all the output. First thing is test one. And there's the time. And then this is the output from robocopy. Now as it's copying things, it has a little update on the screen telling you the percentage. And because it's a text file, you get this kind of staggered effect. Okay, All this is is a percentage as it's copying. It's just a, a cosmetic thing more than anything. So there it all goes, and at the end it actually tells me how long it took, and it's it's saying here 12 seconds, and copy is 10 seconds, and it's telling me the total throughput, all this really neat stuff. So I'm going to validate this in just a moment. I'm going to do my math, and I'm going to find out how long it really took for my five copies. Then I'm going to go to my X copy results, and same thing applies. There's the beginning, and then there's the end. So I'm going to do that math in just a few more moments and see which one works best. Well,
crunching the numbers is over, and here's the results. Robocopy uh, beat X copy uh, by quite a bit. Again, this is 33 megs of um, different types of files. Um, oh yeah, for the managers in the room, here we'll go to chart. There you go. Look at that, huh? So we got a little chart comparing X copy in red and Robocopy in blue, and obviously that's quicker than that. All right. So in this case, this is 12 seconds versus 16. So it's a considerable difference. Uh, and there you go. So Robocopy is the way to go. I really like the fact that Robocopy um, actually shows you how long it took, which ended up being entirely accurate, this 15 seconds, which is great. And the speed, it's actually showing me, in this case, it's 2.7 megabytes per second, or 154 megabits. No, I'm sorry, megabytes per minute. So uh, it's actually showing me the throughput. If you want bits, just take this number, multiply by 8. But uh, this is neat. Speed and time, and everything's just built right within that uh, little command. Got to like Robocopy. Again, it's uh, Windows Vista or higher. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a good day. Bye for now. Thank you.